it's Ryan and Samana. We're right here on 52nd Street at Therapy 4, the RuPaul's Drag Race finale show. The screening happened right here, and BB Zahara Benet took the crown. Let's talk about some. Let's talk about some of the highlights tomorrow. Uh, well, Nina Flowers was not here, first of all. But there was a, here. There was a great interpretation where the flowers started speaking with a very strong Latino dialect. Yes, that was supposed to be uh, the flower. Nina the flowers did drag. That was a specialty. So there was a lot of performances. Rebecca Glasscock uh, giving us the an, winner. Rebecca Glasscock giving us a totally another new look. Always evolving yeah. right in front of the she's camera. She's actually nice. She's yeah. not a bitch, people. Yeah, so. yeah. Even when the cameras weren't rolling, she was nice to us. We yeah. gotta say that's. I don't know what. No bitches are at this party. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and BB, congratulations, Miss BB. You're the winner. One of the other things we found out: not only did she win, but she won on her birthday. Feliz yes, cumpleaños, BB right. Zahara Bene. Each Happy star birthday. and Mimi on first were the hosts, and they showed this really funny video where they did their own drag race running through Times Square. Love that. With uh, Johnny Knoxville. It was hilarious. Oh God, definitely. So this is the party. This is it. This is where it happened right here in New York City, which was the one-time partial home for RuPaul Andre Charles himself. I think his apartment was right on Christopher Street, as a matter of fact. I think he might be back in California now. Always a lot going on with RuPaul. And with Samara, I'm Ryan, right here on 52nd Street, celebrating the first annual finale of RuPaul's Drag Race.